Hi, my name is Kristen Sokol. I'm an allergist immunologist at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. This is part two of two, a video on indoor allergens. In the last video, we went over dust mite and pet allergens. And in this video, we'll talk about pests and molds. So there are two common pests that can live in the home, the mouse and the cockroach, and they can bro both produce allergens that if exposed to them, do cause problems with aller allergic rhinitis and asthma and can worsen these symptoms or diseases. So mouse allergen actually is, comes from the urine of the animal. Um, and mice are more common in urban environments, but also can be seen in suburban homes as well. And there can be mouse allergen in a home without even ever sighting so, or seeing a mouse. So it is important to know this and try to effectively reduce this, especially in sensitized individuals. So how do we effectively reduce mouse allergen? So there's something called Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. It's basically an acronym for um, vigorous cleaning of the home, um, meticulous food disposal, looking at the home structure and filling in all the, um, the cr cracks and crevices of the, in the house structure, and then putting out insecticide and, um, and traps. So that's how to effectively reduce mouse allergen in the home. Now cockroach allergen is a little bit different. It doesn't come from the urine of the animal, but rather comes from the debris and the um, fecal excrement. And how to reduce, co so cockroaches also are more common in urban environments where the population is very dense and in low socioeconomic areas, but cockroaches can be found at anywhere. Um, so again, we use integrated pest management to remove the allergen from the home. So vigorous cleaning again, meticulous food disposal, sealing up of cracks and crevices if you can, and then putting out um, insecticide. But in cockroaches, we, just to remind you, we always want to use the gel bait and never the spray. So the next allergen I'll talk about is molds. So I think everyone hears a lot about molds and gets worried about them, but actually molds, for the most part, do not cause human disease. There are a few that are implicated in asthma and allergy that worsen those symptoms. Um, molds can be found in outdoor or in the indoors, but oftentimes outdoor molds will be brought indoors on clothing, shoes, pets, etc. So how do we get rid of molds in the environment or in the home? So molds usually will grow in the home because of water damage. So simply fixing the water damage is how you remove the mold from the home um, and vigorous cleaning. So I just want to remind you that when you do, if you do clean the mold in your home, to be very careful and use a mask whenever cleaning visible mold and also using a special respirator that is recommended if you're using chlorine bleach um, products in the home to remove the mold. So those are uh, pests and mold, another two common indoor allergens, and we talked about how to effectively reduce them. So I hope this video helps. And if you have any more questions or concerns, you can look at our website, Quad AI. Thank you.